Game Fest. Oh, Game Fest. It's the Game Fest 2 CD. Now let's play. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to more of the Game Fest 2 CD. Russian folk music is awesome. Let's go ahead and go to the D. Want to want to see my D? I got I got a big I got a big C for you, girl. And then after that, I I got a big D for you, girl. You want to see how big it is? All right, let's let's go and continue. Apologies, I I have special problems. So um, where were we? Uh. Yeah, so we had just done Kung Fu Louie last time. So we've got the Electronic Monopoly. I think I remember this game. This was basically, um, um, Elec Mono, maybe? I was trying to think of how best to summarize these in eight characters. Elec Mono, Electric Boogaloo. Yes. Okay, two files, one of which is very, I'm curious, what's, what's in Monopoly.usr? Oh boy, I thought it might be a user profile or something, but it appears to be just the version. And okay, so everything's, it's one of those situations where everything's just in one exe file. Okay, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. So we have Monopoly, T TGL Monopoly. TGL is one of those companies that you sometimes, you sometimes see. They showed up a lot in the shareware scene. They made a lot of these types of games and they were kind of known for their, or at least I remember them for their mouse interface. All their games had this sort of similar mouse interface where the game was pretty, like the interface was kind of open-ended. Um, if I remember right, let's go ahead and click on, there we go. If I remember right, yeah. So what's a little confusing here is you might think, well, how do I start a game? I mean, I don't see any option. I mean, it looks like the game's already in session. I, I don't see any option to actually start a game. Is there an option to start the game? Uh, here you can click on how to play the Electric Monopoly if you want, but this is kind of, it just goes on and on and on. And this choice of font is quite bad in my opinion. The, the font's not very readable. Um, what you have to do is, see here in the upper right, you have, to, you, you have these different colors. You have to actually click on, on a, uh, a color and then the player actually joins the game. So until you actually click on somebody up here, there are no players in the game. And finally, enough, you can click on a player down here, I think. Hold on, how do I? Uh, No? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, so this is what I mean by the interface being open and or one of the examples that I mean. It seems like you can drag this box containing the people around. Okay, it actually, do it doesn't actually go where you try to drag it to, but you can sort of, can I drag this guy up here? Yeah, there we go. You can drag the guy up there to make him exit the game. So right now there's nobody playing. And if you click on, this is where that you roll the dice. And I can't, I guess I can't click here because there's nobody playing. So like you have to have, can one person play alone? Let's see. Can they? Maybe you need to have two people, at least. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, let's bring out a second person. Can they play now? There we go. Okay, now we can play. So you need to have at least two people. Yeah, so of course in, in real, in the original Monopoly, you had those uh, metal board pieces. So there was like, there was the dog, there was the car, there was the uh, the clothing iron, the boot, and... Uh, what else? Oh, the thimble and the wheelbarrow. I think that's most of them, if not all of them. I don't know. Am I forgetting some? I might have forgotten some, but anyway. But here you just have these people, and they're just different colors, and that's how you distinguish the different players. So let's go ahead and click on the dice. That is a horrible sound. The dice rolling sound is... It's it's horrible, and it's, it's kind of wonderful at the same time. And you just click to stop. There you go. And I rolled a six and a four. So... Oh, and I'm just visiting jail. Okay, that's nice. All right, and then you click on the dice again, and this guy steps off the board because his turn is over, and then this guy steps on because it's his turn now. Roll to five and a one. And here's Oriental, hey, that's that's offensive. It's it's Asian now, come on, man, get with the times. We don't say Oriental anymore. Uh, so, you know what? I actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I know how to play Monopoly properly. Um, I remember as a kid, I always just looked at the price. See, it says, it says price 120. Can you actually just buy it outright? Oh, I guess you can, okay. 
I always just did that. I always just bought the property. I never actually like fiddled around with this auctioning thing. I mean, I know there's an auctioning facility in the game, but I never figured out how it worked because I never did that. I just either bought it or didn't. But actually, are you are you obligated to? You can't just pass. If you land on a property, you can't just pass, can you? You can't just say, nah, I don't want to buy it. I think you have to. I think you have to do something. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try. pay hospital 100 bucks. Oh, great. That's just what I need. All right. So, like, if I don't want to buy this, can I just click off this? No, I can't. I can't get rid of this. Yeah, see, you can drag this thing around. You can drag these windows all over the screen, which is kind of even, even over the, the menu bar. This is, again, this is one of the examples that I meant by an open-end interface. TG, TGL always let you do kind of weird stuff like this with the, with the interface. You could drag interface elements around, including things that you probably, it looks like, even looks like I can drag the board around, but I can't. Um, not that there's anything wrong with being able to drag the board around. I mean, maybe it's like a pseudo sort of GUI where you want to, you know, drag the board up here into the corner to make it less out of the way because, you know, the board's not the centerpiece of the game. I don't know. Um, what can I, I mean, if I don't want to buy this, what do I do? Do I have to auction it? I guess if, hold on, let me just see here. Does it say here, if you, if you land on unowned property, when is automatically displayed permanently to either purchase the land or auction the land? Okay, so yeah, so you have to either buy it or auction it. You cannot just say, ah, screw it, I don't want to do anything, just, just pass. So, okay, so if I don't want to buy this and I click on auction, then what? Enter auction price. Um, 9999. Okay, I can't go higher than 9999. Select highest bidder below. Um, uh, I don't know, that one. Uh, did he actually... Hold on, what happened? Did I just... I think this guy... Hold on. Uh, wait, what? Uh, did, did we just auction it for $9,999? I don't know. I, I don't know how, uh, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, and if you drag these people up here, you can just make them leave the game at any time. Like seriously, that's it. And then, and then this guy can't play anymore because one player can't play alone. So you can seriously just, just kick them out of the game at any time. And that's it. Game, game is, uh... The game is not really over. The players just left the game, and their properties, their held properties, just return to being unowned. And you can get other people in, and yeah, it's it's weird. It's it's a it's a weird kind of game. I I do like. Oh, you just, you just have the option of viewing a chance card, so you don't actually. Oh, you can just you can just click through them. That's cool. So the different chance cards, and then these are the different community chest cards. Nice. Anyway, so, I mean, it's Monopoly, you know, it's it's not a bad rendition of Monopoly. And yeah, TGL was based in Vancouver, British Columbia. So yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, not a bad implementation of Monopoly. They they, they made good, good games. They made, um, what else did they make? I remember they were well known for their implementation of Solitaire, like of Mahjong Solitaire. And then I believe they made that Milbon game. There's a Milbon COD game that uh, that I sometimes see on these uh, shovelware CDs, and I think that's also from them. It seems to have the similar a uh, similar kind of interface, anyhow. All right. Anyway, let's move on. So that was Monopoly. I mean, what can you say? It's Monopoly. It's not not bad. Not a bad implementation of Monopoly. Um. So moving on. Um. Yeah, plays well though the board ought to be a little larger. Kind of agree with that. I wonder who writes these reviews. Was it actually the people who put the CD together? All right, anyway. Big Two, popular card game in the Far East. Oh, here's another one from TGL. I kind of I kind of want to skip over most of these card games, but let's just quickly... Uh, I, always, I always say I'm just going to do something quickly, and then it takes forever to actually... Let's just see. Yeah, see here again. They gotta, you gotta, I bet I can drag this window around. Yeah, I can, I can drag this this window with the copyright details and everything all over the place. All right, anyway, um, I have no idea how this game works. I have never played this, I don't think, ever. Um, what do I, I mean, I guess I pick a card. Okay, let's play the Ace of Hearts. 
Okay, now what? Uh, 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 info, program info. Oh, that's nice, thanks. Big two rules, okay. This is a lot of text that I'm not going to read now. Oh, it's, oh, from this it looks kind of like, it has hands kind of like, like in poker, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe, I, uh, do I do like something, like do I pick like five cards to make a poker hand and then say play? The rank of your cards are less than the rank of the cards current on the table. Okay, that's fine. I didn't claim that I was higher ranking than the cards on the table. I can live with that. If the cards on the table want to be so high and mighty, they can, you know, they can go ahead. I mean, I'm, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to quit out of that. That was big too. Uh, it's, it's a card game. I mean, I'm sure it's a fun game. I just have no idea how to play it. And I mean, what's to say? It's, it's a, it's another card game. I mean, um, moving on. Uh, so yeah, big two. Commander Keen. We saw Commander Keen already in in Game Fest One, but just for completeness' sake, I often kind of go back and forth in my head because I sometimes when I think about making these videos, I ask myself, what am I going to do when it comes to these games where I've already like d done the game before? I don't know. Might as well. Oh, you even have to install it here. Yeah, you have to actually. Okay. Uh, Keen, yeah, Keen one is fine. Wow, that went pretty fast. Well, I mean, it's like a 30-year-old game. I mean, I, I I feel reasonably certain that most of you have seen Commander Keen before, but just for completeness sake, what shall I say? It's, it's Commander Keen. That actually say that actually says Kant, doesn't it, on that book up there? Like as in Immanuel Kant, not as in the other kind of Kant. Not like I can't sing or I can't dance. Um, I think I might have pointed that up, that up before. Actually, now I'm, I'm trying to think. I must have I must have noticed it before, but just somehow I seem to have forgotten about it because I don't remember the I don't remember the books in Commander Keen saying Kant on them, but they do actually. Okay, okay. You know what? That's enough. It's Commander Keen. Great game, but I, I think everybody knows that game already. I'm not gonna. I don't want to spend too much time showing games that I've already shown before and that people have rather probably already seen before. Okay, what do we what else do we have here? So picture puzzle. Is this uh uh hmm. picked buzz uh I'm going to guess this is a picture puzzle game and it actually comes in a zip file, and I don't think I have an unzipper on this. Uh, um, hmm. Wonder why. Why do they not include an exe? Yeah, I don't have an unzip program on this. Uh, on this. Um, Copy of DOS box and figure. I think I don't have. I think I don't have anything except the CD. I don't have any software that'll unzip. There's nothing on the CD that'll unzip, is there? I don't think so. Go to back to game EGA and where we're here. So yeah. So we see execute list. Um. Yeah. There's the. Okay. Well, that's not. That's nice. You can view the zip file. This is probably more entertaining than playing the game. That's mean that you can read ASCII encoded machine language. Actually, no, this is not machine language. This is just the this is just the zip file. So, um, yeah, I don't have any option here. Yeah, this thing just doesn't have anything to unzip a file. 
I could just go, I mean, I, I could copy this somewhere and unzip it and then, you know what, I'm not going to bother, forget it. It's it's a picture puzzle game, what's there to say? Bass map aid for bass tour. So, I mean, this is, yeah, it's a, it's a add-on program for bass tour, which we've seen before, which was a great game. Um, so, you, yeah, so you can create new lakes, that's nice. So, yeah, so it's a map editor. You can create new lakes or change existing lakes, change the lake description. Display maps in a format more suitable for printing, in case you'd want to print the, the maps. Yeah, it, it's a map editor. I mean, what, what can I say? I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, yeah, EGA Games 4. Man, this really goes back to to uh, the times of, you know, like, like really old shareware DOS games kind of times when you would have, like, this this was even before there was CD-ROM shovelware. There was floppy disk shovelware where people would copy like three or four shareware games onto one floppy disk. Even in the times of floppy disks, they had shovelware for for shareware. So EGA Games Four, Star Trek Three, yeah, okay, probably some Star Trek clone. There are several of those. Blamo, move without hitting the walls, maybe like a snake clone. Fleet Sweep, I think I remember that one. It's just a vertical shooter. Trisk, Hungarian ring game. Games. Ri- require an EGA card and monitor. I like how they put that in capital letters. So first of all, the games require an EGA card, which I I guess these games were released at a time when that was actually quite a demanding uh, requirement. But I love how it says the games require a monitor, because if your computer doesn't have a monitor, then yeah, you can't play these games. It probably it probably doesn't mean an EGA card and a monitor. It probably means an EGA card and an EGA monitor. It doesn't just mean monitor. It means you need an EGA monitor. But just if you interpret it that way, it's kind of funny. This game requires a monitor. Okay. Um, EGA game game games four. I miss the days when files could only be eight characters long, or what? Not the whole file, but the file name, when file names could only be eight characters long. Those were good days. We should bring back those days. Good times. So yeah, here you see it's just uh, each game just exists in, in this folder. So you have three EXEs for Blamo, EGA Trek, and Fleet Swoop, which, is, which was Fleet Sweep, and then Trisk is actually a com file. I guess let's just do these in alphabetical order. Blamo by Star Systems in Bethel, Connecticut. Press any key to continue. Um, Read instructions. Okay, those are instructions. Didn't read them. TLDR. Um, I'm not going to bother defining the keys. Let's just play Blamo. Uh, 99 because I have no idea what I'm doing. So, oh, I've, um, I've actually, I've seen this before. Where have I seen this? Probably on this CD. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's like it's like two player snake, basically. It's it's like one of these it's you know, it's it's like Tron or Snake or those types of games where you leave a trail behind you and then you have to try to get the other person to hit the trail behind you. Yeah, that's that's all it is. I mean Okay, ask to exit. That was that was Blamo. EGA Trick, is this that game that Oh yeah, it is. It's this game by Nels Anderson. I've uh I also featured this game when I was doing Game Fest CDs, so I don't really feel the need to dwell on it for very long, but let's just quickly show it. No, don't restore saved game. Uh, please enter your name. Command level, I guess that's the difficulty level. Self-destruct password, uh, self, like in, uh, um, wait, no, that wasn't, I was going to say like in King's Quest 1, but no, in, self, in King's Quest 1 it was Phil, and then in King's Quest 2 it was home. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is EGA Trick. This is actually a very good game. I like this game, but um, I actually don't remember how to play it now. How do you how do you play this game? Um, 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 you need to type commands. Okay, here we go. So you type, if you type help, you get a list of commands. Uh, so you need to warp. No, w sets warp speed. So warp speed, Captain nine 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 nine. Invalid warp factor setting. Okay, 
I'll just leave it at warp 1, because warp 1 is probably pretty fast. If warp 1 is the speed of light, then that's probably pretty fast already. Uh, what other commands do we have? Uh, right, move. So let's move to, um, I don't know, somewhere. Move blocked by object. Great, thanks. Uh, let's try again. There we go. Now we're, now we're going. All right, uh, I got hit by this Mongol, so let's fire our lasers. I think that was... L, and then amount to fire. Let's fire 9 million and whatever. Oh, it didn't do anything. What? Okay, fire 900. There we go, Mongol destroyed, okay. All right, I mean, it's 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 a Star Trek game. It's, it's a very good game. I actually really like this game, but um, I've already shown it before. So let's... Quit. Yes. Great. I got minus 281 points. That's nice. I'm very happy about that. Okay. EJ Trek. All right. Fult swoop. Fleet sweep. Morse Associates in Nashua. Uh, NH is uh, New Hampshire. Uh, okay. This is from 1985. Oh boy. Well, this will this will be a, a modern shareware extravaganza for sure. Whoa. Okay. Fleet Sweep by Jake, Richt Jake uh, Richter. Play Fleet Sweep. Sound on. Use joystick. Okay, hold on. So redefine keyword. No, when number of players is one. Use joystick. No, sound on. Okay, play Fleet Sweep. Press return. Yes. Choose the... Uh, I'll press one for beginner. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Wow! Um, let's try that again. I think I need to lower the cycles count on DOSBox just a bit. Um, let's try that again. Okay. So just to let you know, I lowered the cycles count on DOSBox to 100. And, okay, I, I, that could be... That might be just... Just a touch slower than where it really should be. I mean, definitely, definitely makes the game easier since it's a little slower, but, uh, whoops. Okay, I can make it a little faster than this, come on. Okay, now it's, now I have cycles at 300. Whoops. Um, so it's basically like a clone of every vertical, every vertical shooter in the world. I mean, it's it's basically like uh, it's like Galaga, isn't it, or how you pronounce that name? That game, that game's name. Gag 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 game. The game is the name. This is a very noisy game. I can just imagine how many parents were overjoyed to hear their children playing these games. This game for for hours at a time. Sure, it really made for good uh, good and interesting family discussion. All right, I, I mean, it's it's a vertical shooter. It's actually, I mean, once you slow down the cycles count in DOS box, this game is actually kind of fun. Are these TIE Fighters that I'm shooting? They look like TIE Fighters. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a game. Oh, oh, what was that? That looked like the Enterprise. So it's like a mix of Star Trek and Star Wars. Actually, it's it's really neither. It's just a, just a, I mean, I mean, it's not it's not a bad game at all. Actually, it looks kind of, I mean, it it, it does look rather dated. But what what can you say? It's from 1985. This game is almost as old as I am. So. Oh, I thought something. I figured something like that was going to happen. I figured it wouldn't make sense to have just one. Just one enemy. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to speed it up and let it.
Oh, hey, didn't do that badly, actually. All right. Play Fleet Sweep? No. Uh, how do I quit? Uh, how do I get out of here? Help! Uh... 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 Uh, hello? How do I, I, um, uh, how do I get out of this game? Oh no. Um, is there a, a reboot option in, in DOSBox? I'm not aware of one actually. I don't know any option in DOSBox to just reboot the virtual machine. It's actually kind of, Kind of unfortunate now that I think about it. It would be nice to have a an option to uh, just reload the... Uh, maybe there is one and I just don't know what it is. Um, um, okay. This is something that always really annoys me when games don't offer you a, a clear way of just exiting. I mean, it's like... How do I quit? It's probably, it probably uses some function key like control or uh, like control F10 or I've seen games that use some really weird combos like control F10 or, or something like that. I mean, it doesn't seem to be Q or any combination of Q or alt Q or, or something like that or control C or anything like that. I don't see any option here to actually, hold on. If I go to redefine keyboard, yes. Okay, there's no option here to... Yeah, there's no option here to define quit game, which is like the one thing that I actually want to do, so... Um, I guess... I mean, I guess I can just restart DOSBox, but I don't want to do that because that's probably going to mess up the video, so... Okay, um, this has been... This has been more of the Game Fest CD. Gosh. Um, sorry, folks. Badly behaved games that don't let you quit. That's, that's one of my pet peeves is when games don't let you quit. Um, so, yeah. We'll, we'll uh, be back next time with more exciting game action. Until then, uh, thanks thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry that it got cut a bit short. Well, this was almost half an hour, so I guess it wasn't bad. Um, but, yeah. This has been more EGA Games from GameFest 2. I will see you folks later. Bye-bye for now.